Hello, this is the first video of the video series that we are going to talk about the neural network in the Godot engine. If you don't know what is the neural network, neural network is a system that you can create a non-player character or uh, an AI or artificial intelligence in your game. So uh, I created a GD native library that I wrote with a C++ uh, and we are going to use that library to create our non-player character. So uh, the first thing that you need to do, you need to uh, download my uh, GD native library. I would put the link of my GD native library down in the description. And in this video, we are going to talk about how we can build that GD native library and how we can use that in the Godot. So I already downloaded my GD native library. And as you can see, when you download the GD native library, you have a bunch of uh, folders. The four main folders are the core, GA, GD, and include. Uh, so these are four folders that can uh, create neural network and uh, they are able to teach the neural network. So uh, in, in include, you can see there is Eigen. Eigen is a C++ uh, library that, uh, uh, that's going to do matrix operation for me in the in this library because uh, for creating neural network you need a lot of matrix operation okay and you are able to use only c++ version of this library uh, in the example folder there are two examples that show you how you can use that uh, use this library only in c++ but we are not going to teach the C++ version of this library. We are going to teach, uh, teach you, how to you how you can use it in the Godot. So GD native bind is a folder that is going to define how we can connect these four folders to, uh, to Godot. All right. So the first thing that you need to do, you need to uh, download Godot CPP. I will put a... A link of the Goda CPP in the description. Download that. I already downloaded that, and there is a folder of the Goda CPP here. So, go in the Goda CPP. You need to build the uh, Goda CPP Goda CPP library for uh, your platform. Uh, and uh, there is a, a tutorial about the how you can do that in the Goda CPP page. I'm not going to explain that. You need also to install Scans, Python, Build Essential Tools. And there are a bunch of tutorials about that. So uh, go on and build Godot.cpp. So I already built that. And as you can see, I have a library of Godot.cpp here for a Linux 64-bit and debug version. All right. So after you finish to building the Godot.cpp, go on here and start to uh, build the, the library for uh, GD native neural network. So. Uh, you need scans like uh, like you need scans for the Goda CPP. So we write scans platform. In my case, the platform is Linux, and you can also specify target and, uh, and other things. So I'm I'm not specifying them. So it's going to build the library. It's it's finished as you can see. So the library is going to be here and it's called libgnn.so. And this is my uh, GD native library. So what I need to do, I need to copy this to my uh, Godot project. I already created an empty project uh, in the Godot. I copy that into my empty project. So uh, it's called GNN hello. So I create a folder called lib here and I paste it here. All right, so, so. The first thing that you need to do in the Godot, you need to uh, introduce your GD native library to the Godot. Okay, go on here and create a and create a, a GD native library resource. Okay, and down here, uh, I built these things for the Linux 64 bit. If you build it for other platform, you should put on other uh, section. So I put here and I take this. You can build it, uh, you can cre create uh, your GD native library for multiple platform also and specify them here. All right, so that is done. All right, and now, and now we need to introduce to Godot four classes that we need to use in the Godot from that GD native library.
So if you go into the GitHub page of my of my GD Native Library, okay, here, here in the classes, okay, you need uh, to specify these four classes: network, GD network, GA network, and population. These classes you don't need to specify them, okay? Layers, GA li GD layers, and GA layers. So, so we are going to specify these four classes. All right, so we are going to uh, create another one, another resource called native native scripts. Okay, so native script uh, in the library. I just put the library that I created. Oh, I didn't save that. All right, sorry, I didn't save that library. So in the in sixty four bit. Okay, and and remember to save that. So I call it GNN, okay, and GD library, all right. So now I save that. Now I'm going to, now I'm going to, so now I'm going to create other resources. So native script, load, and this, okay. The first class is network. Please pay attention to the uppercase and the lowercase also network. Here in the script class also I put network. All right, save that. And I'm going to call it network. All right, and create another one. And GD network load. It work. Save. GD. GD. It work. Another one is going to be GA network. I'm going to explain about all of these classes in the next video. Uh, and we need these classes to actually create a neural network and we are needing these classes to actually teach the neural network to do an, a specific job, all right? So save that GA network. All right, and the last one is going to be uh, G Population, population, and load. Uh, script name is going to be population, population. All right, save that. All right, so we already registered these four classes, and now we can use them in the Godot. So uh, here I define a script, okay? All right, I have my script, GD, GD script, simple. And here, I create my, an object of these classes that I introduced and I, or I registered. So, where, for example, net is equal to network.new. And where GA net is equal to GA net.new. And where G D net G D net work dot new and the last one where where uh, population is equal to population dot new and let's run it and see we don't have any errors. So actually I can see we don't have any error and we just import these four classes that we need to uh, create and uh, run our, uh, our neural network in the Godot. So this was just an introduction to how the neural network, uh, how you can import the neural network GD native library to the Godot. And in the next video, we are going to explain about these classes and how we can use them 
And also I, I'm going to explain about some of the theory of the neural network in the next video. Have a good time. Bye.